In January 2017, one of my intentions is to get on the mat every day for 10 minutes. This morning, before my practice, we made vegan blueberry muffins, and that kept Sage really entertained. So he's in the other room making a mess of muffins as I practice. And then after I nursed Violet that little moment, I brought her out a muffin. So she's just crumbling a muffin there on the floor while I'm getting in a little practice. And today I'm really working on the lower body loops. So ankle loop, which takes the base of the shin back and creates an arch, which is our really good foundation. And then shin loop, which tips the top of the shin forward, causing a little bend in the knee to prevent hyperextension. And then thigh loop, which takes the top of the thigh back, helping create a lumbar curve. And pelvic loop, which tones the pelvic floor to stabilize that curve, and which helps us extend down into earth. So in all of these postures, I'm making sure that my ankle bones are going back, my shin, top of the shin bones are going forward, thigh bones are going back, and belly is toned. And it's amazing how when I really focus on getting really clear in these lower body loops, how much easier it makes handstand. I feel like I was just being held up by someone else when I was in the handstand, just because my lower body was so well aligned that when I went to kick into handstand, my thighs just naturally go over my shoulders and knees and ankles stack. So that was a really cool experience. And working those thigh bones back as I lengthen my spine forward. I'm trying to make my way into Hanumanasana, but the kids are wanting to play a little bit more. So the practice is getting close to ending. I love when Sage is on my back here for these poses. It helps. This is one of the hardest poses, in my opinion, Don Dawson. And then I ended the practice with by chanting Loka Samasta Suki Nu Bhavantu with Sage. And I posted that in another video on YouTube if you want to check it out.